Microsurvey layout includes a NAS built mode. To access it, you just go to the main menu, and instead of choosing stakeout mode, you choose NAS built mode. And when you do so, a special toolbar is loaded for you that allows you to generate line work as you're collecting points that uh, you're measuring at your uh, job. And we're going to give you a quick example of how you can use this. This button down here lets you choose a code or a description, and this code library can be customized. As you can see here, I've got a bunch of codes that I've predefined. And I'm just going to choose a code here for house. I'm going to turn on my line toggle, and what this is going to do is, as I record points, it's going to create a line between them. So let's take a measurement. I'm currently locked on a prism. So here you get to set your prism height if you want. You can enter in a note about this point. Changes description if you had the incorrect description selected here. And we're going to store that and if we zoom in where we're surveying here, or measuring. Let's measure the second point. And then store that. So you can see there's a line being generated for us. If we move to the next point, Zoom here in here a little bit more. If you want to, you can turn on, we call it tracking mode. And what that'll do is it updates your current position to reflect where the prism currently is. And you'll see that happens to be right here. This blue X you see, that tells you that wherever the next uh, point is stored or measured, it'll be connected to that blue X. So here, if I press measure and restore this point, you'll see the line will connect to it. So now we're going to go to the opposite end. And you'll see our position has moved. And we're going to measure that. And if I wanted to close this, we call this a figure, back to the start point, all you need to do is just select the figure and press the close button. And you'll see that point has been closed back to the start for us. This line work that you measure, you can click on it. You can press the info button. You can see here it gives you a lot of useful information such as the length of the line, its direction, difference in elevation. And that figure that I had created was a closed figure. We had closed back to the start point. You'll see it also computes an area here for us and gives us the perimeter distance. Now, you don't have to generate line work as you measure points and store them. If I just choose a different description here, perhaps, oh, let's just use a hydrant. And let's just move to the center of this area that I'm measuring in and store this. You're going to see there's no line work toggles turned on here. So if I press the measure button, and store it. And you'll see it's just a point's been stored for us from right in the middle here. If you go to the uh, measure mode button, when you're in as-built mode, we have a lot of different options available for recording points. And many of the useful uh, sort of advanced measure modes here are the uh, horizontal angle offset and some of these line intersection offsets here down near the bottom. And that's an overview of how you can measure some points and store them and generate line work in as-built mode.